Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pragya, aka Glam by Pragya. So in today's video, I will be talking about sunscreens and a lot, a lot of controversies regarding sunscreen and from where did they even came from and what is the main purpose and what should we apply if all the sunscreens are bad in the market and if all of them are harmful. So what should be applied? I have also kind of picked up some of the sunscreens that could be safe for your skin based on the ingredient list and I have suggested them at the end of the video so yes uh, I will mention all the timestamp in the description box if you want to go for certain parts you can check the description box because this video can be a little bit lengthy so yes and without any further ado let's just get a rolling now first I want to address the controversy that has been going around now now few people don't actually really wear sunscreen they don't like sunscreen and they think wearing sunscreen can actually cause skin cancer and then there are other people who are saying that you should wear sunscreen and sunscreen is very important for your skin and it should be worn to prevent skin cancer so this is the main main controversy that has been going around number one and so the second controversy that has been going around is the people who are wearing sunscreen now they are kind of confused and differentiating between two sunscreen number one is the mineral sunscreen and another one is the chemical sunscreen so here is the two parts that has been going around now people are confused which one is safe mineral sunscreen or chemical sunscreens now that is number two controversy and the final and third controversy is the people who are wearing chemical sunscreens because now they have two questions over here now which one to select new gen filters or old gen filters so now coming to the first controversy that is going around whether to wear sunscreen or whether to not wear sunscreen to prevent skin cancer now honestly speaking we are wearing sunscreen to protect our skin from uva and uvb rays now this two rays has been researched and found that they are very very harmful for our skin and cause skin cancer and that has been researched and proved and that's what i feel that sunscreen is very very important for your skin now there would be a set of people who will say that yes you don't need sunscreen but at that time at the old times the weather the climate the environment was really really different it was way more greenery way more uh, like less humid and way more nicer currently if we look at our environment it is way more distressed it is way more populated and it has like less greenery and more hazards so if you understand that situation uva and uv rays are very powerful nowadays and that is why you need to wear sunscreen to protect yourself from skin cancer and so now if i have to put a disclaimer to the first controversy is that using a sunscreen is way way important and very helpful for you guys rather than not using a sunscreen now coming to the second controversy that is whether to select a mineral sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen now this particular controversy is not even a controversy okay it is just a thing that whether you guys want to choose this or want to choose that there are two types of uh, things that is being platted to you right now it's upon you what you want to use chemical sunscreens usually penetrate into our skin layers and protect it from the depth of our skin now whereas mineral sunscreen lies on top of our skin and reflects back whatever the uv and uv b rays are coming it is just reflecting back whereas chemical sunscreens are kind of taking that uv rays changing it and then letting it absorb to our skin and it is not affecting our skin okay so chemical sunscreen are absorbing those layers it is not reflecting back it is absorbing those layers but it is not making our skin turn black or dark it is some which ways like it is just absorbing it but it is not harming our skin it has the power to absorb the uva and uvb rays and whereas mineral sunscreen is kind of reflecting back okay that is the basic concept Now chemical sunscreen usually absorbs the UVA and UVB rays that is coming and like it is not getting affected to your skin. It will not harm your skin. It is absorbed. It will not kind of do anything. It is absorbed and transferred into heat but it is not getting affected as a you know what I will say like to your skin to harm your skin to cause skin cancer no it is not going to do that if, if if that would have been the plan then it they wouldn't have come up with chemical sunscreen after doing so many research and wasting so many money on researches all these filters that are used in a sunscreen cost a lot so people wouldn't have invested money and wouldn't have 
use those uh, filters to create a chemical sunscreen if that would have harmed your skin that mineral sunscreens are great if you just don't get the concept of the chemical sunscreen if you feel like okay chemical sunscreen uh, can do something bad you're scared and then you want to switch to mineral sunscreen you can do that but again everything in the market has its pros and cons again a disclaimer to this uh, second controversy it is basically a choice it is not something that you have to use chemical sunscreen or it is not like you have to use a mineral sunscreen it is just your personal choice what you want to use before coming to the third controversy i also want to address another thing is that what are the pros and cons okay about the mineral sunscreen and the chemical sunscreen the first uh, pro is that the mineral sunscreen is very good if you have sensitive skin if you have acne if you don't want anything to get reacted to your skin okay you just want it to sit on top of your skin and if you have very sensitive and acne prone skin and you have other skin conditions then mineral sunscreen would be a great great fit for you and that is why doctors usually suggest mineral sunscreen rather than chemical sunscreen most of the time when i used to go to visit doctor most of the time they suggested me sunscreen that are mineral sunscreen which when it was the time when i had very very bad acne now coming to the chemical filter uh, chemical sunscreen now this could be great fit for everybody seriously everybody except for the ones that i have said and also it could be a very good fit even if you have acne you have to choose the correct chemical filters that can go well with your skin and you have to kind of test and try and then come to a one chemical sunscreen that will work perfectly for you right so you have to do a test and try you cannot be like okay i purchase it it should be working fine for me okay it's not working then it chemical sunscreens are very bad no you have to try because every brand is creating their own concoction and they are giving it to you so it's like you have to test and try and then come to us and for that we are here to do a review and tell it to you guys now coming to the third controversy which is the filters now people who have chose the chemical sunscreen now they have to now decide which filters i want to use like shall i use the old gen filters or shall i use the new gen filters now this is the main part where people are extremely extremely confused and i understand that like i was also confused but then i kind of did my own research i read many google uh, documents and went through a lot of videos now the main question is that why are these old gen filters that has been approved why are they hated so much now again when there was a research done on these old gen filters it has been found that these old gen filters like benzophenon 3 oxybenzone octocrylene these actually can cause hormonal imbalance they are not safe for pregnancy and also they can cause uh, skin cancer they can cause your uh, skin diseases and also they are very very bad for aqua or coral and that is the main reason why this old gen filters are literally hated and has been talked a lot about and coming to the new gen filters now okay we understood that yes we hate you now coming to the new gen filters now new gen filters that are there they are not even fda approved okay it is not approved it has it needs more researches to be done they are approved in certain countries but not in all countries not in usa so they are not like clearly stamped and like yes tick that they are perfectly safe perfectly good to go so again you are not getting that confirmation over there okay so this is the whole thing people are kind of uh confused and that is why there is so much of controversy but to be very honest now keeping all of these controversy aside now coming to the thing is that what should we do now now coming to the most important part of the video is that what are the safe sunscreen which one should we select and which one should we apply all of these now these are my own handpick uh, sunscreen that i feel is that really safe and like very affordable also for you guys my recommendations which i would personally like to give you guys number one is the minimalist sunscreen stick it has spf of 50 with pa4 plus it is really really good for your skin it doesn't have benzophenon octocrylene it is really really good for your skin and the next one is the minimalist spf 60 pa4 plus which is also really good it is for sensitive skin and it is pregnancy safe 
and the next one would be the uh, Dermaco Ultra Matte Sunscreen SPF 60 with PA Triple Plus. I personally use it. I love it. It has the new gen filters that is Trinosorbus and Uvinal. So the next one is the Dermaco One Person Hyaluronic Tinted Sunscreen with SPF. 60 gel p84 plus i think again amazing sunscreen i really personally love dermaco sunscreen the next one is the requil oxybenzone and omc free sunscreen with spf 50 with pa triple plus now in their name only they have mentioned that it is free of this so again it is very safe for um, people who have actually uh, problems with the particular ingredient and sunscreen that i have but i don't use this is the dot and key one this is a vitamin c plus c super bright uh, sunscreen spf of 50 number one it is that of the ingredient list and also this one actually kind of peels on my skin if i wear it on top of any other skin it's coming to the ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen from dr shade i simply don't use it because of the ingredient and i don't uh, like it that much and then again this is from Dermaco. also it contains uh, chemical filters like oxybenzone octocrylene i don't use it also i'm using this one this is from Dermaco. it is their one person hyaluronic tinted sunscreen it is a smaller world love this one it is very good it has a tint to it it kind of blurs out my pores it looks very good perfect for oily skin this one it is their essentry uh hyaluronic acid watery sunscreen gel is a korean sunscreen i love this one i only wear it for the days where i know that i'm gonna be out in sun like for very long time now this is my most favorite sunscreen stick that i've saved for the last this is from beauty of jason it is their uh matte sunscreen stick with smogurt and uh, camellia nice it's perfect for people who are oily skin type it is very good for reapplication because it really doesn't move your makeup that much gives a very matte finish not oily perfect perfect for summers like it is like it is just made for you know oily skin girlies out there like i hope this video will be helpful for you guys i hope you guys understand and i hope i could share some knowledge to you guys and few ideas which sunscreens to and yes if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and we'll see you guys in my next video till then bye bye